Jackie, what do you think of this nice new house? Would you like to live here? Sure, Dad. <laughs> Say, where are all the kids? They're probably playing down by the schoolyard. It's only a short distance away from here. That's great. If you're very careful, you can drive your bike or walk to school from here. Well, I'm going right now. Hold it, young man. You'd better stick around here until your father and I have a chance to teach you a few things oh. about walking safety mm -hmm. and bicycle safety. We don't want you hurt. Oh, Mom, nothing's gonna happen to me. What's so different about this neighborhood? Oh. What's that? comes with the house? Afraid so. Probably strayed from a circus, but he's terrific with kids. And he'll help Jackie get around safely. You're new. Not really. I've been around for about eight years now. I'm Jackie. I'm Ricky Raccoon. Oh, I thought you were a teddy bear who swallowed too many vitamins. So, you want to find the other children? Well, you could follow the yellow brick road. But that will lead to another movie. To get to the school, we have to cross that street. Great, let's go. Jackie, stop. Your mother's right. Always cross the street in marked crosswalks or at street corners only. And when you get to that spot, walk only with the traffic signal or the direction of a police officer or school patrol. Now, there's no light here, but I see there is a police officer. Oh, no, it's that crazy bear. That's raccoon, kid. With two C's and two O's. While you're waiting, always stand on the curb, <laughs> not in the street. Before leaving the curb, be sure the way is clear. Stop, look both ways, watch for turning cars. When you do start across, walk fast, but don't run. Stay alert for cars, which may suddenly turn into the street. Watch how you walk if the pavement's wet or uneven. Say, what do I do if it's raining? A little guy like me might not see where he's going and run into a wild bear or something. How many times I gotta tell you, fella? I'm a raccoon with two C's and two O's. If you carry an umbrella, do so in such a way as to keep a clear view like this. Stay alert, watch out for traffic. Well, what if I'm walking across the street? And I suddenly see my old pal Larry. I might stop to wave a call to him so we can play ball or eat lunch together. No, son, that's not the way to do it. Always walk directly across the street. Don't waste time talking or waving or anything else that'll slow you down. Wait till you're completely across and on the curb. Got another problem, Mom. Suppose this bear over here and I are playing ball, and the bear hits a good one into the street. That's raccoon, kid. Raccoon, bear, bear, raccoon. You think you got it? Yeah, yeah. That's especially dangerous, Jackie. The National Safety Council says you should stay out of streets or roadways while you're playing. Only after you've made sure it's safe should you go into the street after balls, pets, or anything else. Best thing is to play away from the street. Right now, Jackie, you're with your family who are always concerned about you. But be especially careful when you're walking with a group, just as you would by yourself. Watch out for your safety. Don't depend on others.
stop. Here's a driveway. Always watch for cars backing out. Another intersection, but this one's different. There's a traffic light. That's right, son. You know, the red at the top means stop, green for go at the bottom when it's safe. Yellow is a warning. It's that way for cars and for us walkers. Here's a special danger. At many intersections, cars may keep moving past a red light after stopping if they are turning to the right. That means that you, the pedestrian, have to take even greater care. The car should stop for you, but look out. Little people are sometimes hard to see. Jackie, why are you been over like that? Does your back hurt? No, Mom, it's that sign. It says stoop. I'm stooping. No, silly, not stoop. Stop. It's very important to know your street signs, their shapes and meanings. A red sign means stop or not to do something, like not entering a street. A yellow sign is a warning. Black letters on white signs give us information, like how fast a car can drive. Orange lets us know about road work ahead. Service signs, like those telling us hospitals and telephones are ahead, are blue. Recreation and scenic areas have brown signs. Watch out, watch out. That's what the diamond-shaped sign says to us. It's a warning, like for a bridge out. A sign shaped like this, rectangular, gives us traffic information. This kind of rectangular sign contains information on where to go. And do you know what a circle sign tells us? Uh, a train bear is coming? Nope. <laughs> A bear on a train, maybe. Railroad crossing signs are circles. My mummy always said I was a raccoon with one in. A school sign is five-sided. It lets you know there's a school up ahead. And here we are, Jackie. At last. But what happens when I go back home? And it's dark. <laughs> The best clothes to wear at night are ones that are white. Or try to carry something white, light in color, or something that reflects light. Or carry a flashlight so people driving cars will see you. And when you cross the street, cross where there are street lights so you and the car drivers can see each other. Day or night, if you come upon an area where there is no sidewalk, walk on the left side of the road. Walk on the left side. Don't worry. This looks like a real friendly neighborhood. I could get a ride home with someone. Uh, did I say the wrong thing? Yep. yep. Jackie. There are a lot of lonely people who sometimes look for young people like you to be their friend. But some of these people may not be nice. They may even try to hurt children. So you must never accept a ride from anyone unless we've already said it's okay. Even if he or she offers you candy or says your father or mother said you should ride with them. No thanks. Well, you look kind of tired. Why don't you get in? No thanks. Even if they say you said it was okay? You know we wouldn't ask anyone to pick you up without telling you first. You remember that? We'll remember that. <laughs> of course, you could drive your bicycle home, Jackie. What there bicycle? Are no bicycles. Those bicycles. Oh, great! Let's go. <laughs> Have you checked over your bike, Jackie? Just barely, Mr. Bear. Well, first get a bike that fits you. Be sure you have your bike in good shape, thoroughly and regularly checked especially the brakes. Have a horn or a bell, a basket to carry small things, a light on the front and rear, and reflectors all around. Okay? Okay.
You should have your parents' permission before you drive your bike in the street. When you do, Jackie, be sure to obey all the traffic signs, signals, and markings. Gee, you'd think I was driving a car. Lots of things to think about. That's right. Someday you probably will drive a car, Jackie. Driving a bike the right way will make it easier to drive a car. Until then, you're going to be out there on the street with the cars, and they are bigger than you are. So, be certain to drive your bicycle on the right, with the traffic, and drive in a single file. Remember, walk on the left, bike on the right. Whether you're driving your bike or walking, be sure you go directly to or from home by the designated safe way to go. Don't walk or drive through other people's yards, in wooded areas, or unfamiliar places. The National Safety Council says that over half of bike accidents occur at intersections. So be especially careful here. Cross with care. Get off your bike and walk it across using the crosswalks. Maybe I'll notice my old pal Susie Parker after school waiting for a ride home. So maybe I'll be thoughtful and give her a ride home on the back of my bike. Not smart, Jackie boy. That's the way boys and girls hurt themselves. Your bicycle was built to carry only you. While you're riding, use hand signals to let others know when you are turning or stopping. Up, like this, means you're turning right. Out, like this, means you're turning left. Down, like this, shows you're stopping or slowing down. There are other dangers to watch out for while driving your bike. Look out for car doors opening into you or for cars pulling out in the traffic in front of you. Watch for drain grates, soft shoulders, and other road problems. They could throw you off your bike. So many things to think about. Maybe I just won't go to school after all. Or I could ride a bus or get in a carpool, right? You're important, Jackie. We want you alive and healthy. Even if you're waiting for a bus, there are valuable rules to remember, like waiting on the curb or in a safety zone. Be sure the school bus driver knows if you need to cross the street after getting off the school bus. Walk about 12 feet ahead of the bus and look at the driver. If you can see him, you know you are where he can see you. Then cross the street, always looking both ways before going to the other side. Even if the school bus lights are flashing and the stop sign is out? Yes, always look both ways to be sure the street is safe before crossing. If you're in a carpool, get into or out of a car on the curb side. Once in the car, fasten your seatbelt. A lot of these rules are just good old common sense, Jackie. Think before you go into the street. Think before you get on your bike. Think, and don't accept a ride with a stranger. What's wrong? I just thought of something. I'd better go home. I haven't been home in days, I'll bet. Where exactly is home? Rupert Riley's rambunctious raccoon rodeo. Come visit me sometime. We will, but how will we know you? Can't miss me. I'm the only bear in the whole act. Thank <laughs> you.